All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Warriors Daily, where we post daily Golden State Warriors content. Golden State got a very impressive Game 1 victory a couple of days ago. I posted my little short recap a couple of yesterday. Uh, we got Game 2 later tonight, but we're going to get this day started off with a trade. Now, before we get into this video, I'm actually not really a fan of trading Clay Thompson. I have not really looked at this trade too much. You guys know I like just kind of doing trades off the top of my head. Uh, but I've already kind of seen Clay Thompson's name in here, I think, going to uh, like Washington. And I'm kind of kiboshing it. But we'll talk about why here in just a second. Let's get to the trade. So in this trade, oh, it's Dallas. Dallas receives Clay Thompson. Um, Washington receives James Wiseman, Jalen Brunson, Tim Hardaway Jr., and a future first. And Golden State received Bradley Beal. Now, to be honest with you guys, if you're trading for Bradley Beal, this is actually a pretty solid deal, I would say. Clay Thompson, you know, kind of getting up there in age. Uh, James Wiseman hasn't really flashed all of his potential yet. I still view Wiseman as a 25 and 10 player. So me personally, I hope the Warriors hold on to James, but I could definitely see some Warriors fans being like, Oh yeah, Clay and James for Bradley Beal, that's actually pretty solid. Well, here's the thing. He's going to F up the culture. Um, I, I'm actually just not a fan of Bradley Beal coming to Golden State in any way, shape, or form because most of how he scores the basketball is... it's It, it would just interrupt the flow of the offense. He's a heavy ISO player. Yes, he creates his own points. He averages over 20 points per game might open up free the rest of the team to kind of do their thing but that's not really to me what golden state is all about to me golden state um you know the unselfishness is what really sets them apart their culture it's what really sets them apart to me like their willingness to pass we've seen in the last like five to six years the warriors turn down like several pretty open looks just to find the fifth man who's got a wide open three-point shot like we've seen the unselfishness and it's all kind of led by Steph Curry but I don't view Bradley Beal as an upgrade over Klay Thompson in any way shape or form even if Klay Thompson's getting up there in age well so is Bradley Beal but like I think Beal's a little too ISO heavy. Um, he definitely cannot defend as good as Clay Thompson does, and I just think it would. I really think it would just kind of stuff up the the ball movement, and um, I don't think Steph Curry would really thrive with a player like Bradley Beal as opposed to a guy like Clay Thompson, who they already have. So to me, if anything, I'm not even. A shooting guard's like the last thing on my mind because I'm thinking Jordan Poole is definitely taking over for Clay Thompson. Ideally, in my mind, um, once Clay were to retire, you know, if he were to request a trade one day, who really knows the situation? I know Clay Thompson yesterday had some really good things to say about Jordan Poole when talking about um, game one. And you kind of see Steph Curry on selfishness coming off the bench in game one because, you know, he knows Jordan Poole is balling his ass off. He's coming off injury. He might not help them as much as he would like to. So why not let the young cat play? So I'm definitely vetoing this trade 10 out of 10 times. But let me know down below if this trade interests you. Hit the like button. Hit that sub button. We're trying to hit 1,000 subs by the end of the playoffs. I'll see you all later.